Hello, everyone. Welcome back to IT Learn 360. I hope you all are doing good. So I'm back with a new video of Selenium web drivers. If you have gone through my last video where I've talked about the radio buttons or one of the good topics of Selenium web drivers. So I plan in this video, we'll talk about the login web page. So the topic of this video is how to automate a login web page using Selenium web drivers. So in this video, we'll talk about the login page. We'll see how we can automate the login page uh, manually as well as through codes. So through Selenium codes, basically, we'll be using Selenium while automating the login page. So let me explain the problem, what we are going to see. So this is my, our website of IT Learn 360. Here we have the courses available. So I'll take the code from here itself. First, let me show you how the website or how the working goes manually. So this is the link, what we are going to automate. So here, first we'll go to this click button. From here, we will pass, or we'll, be, we'll be carried over to the login page. So here we'll pass the email ID, in fact, the credentials, the passwords, and then we will sign in. So this is what we do manually. First, we click on the image button, then we pass the credentials, that is the username, password, and then we click on sign in button, and then we are into the website. This is what we do manually. Now, let's understand the steps we need to follow while working with this login web page. So these are the steps required. First, we need to set the path of the driver. So the first step, what we need to do, we need to set the path of the driver that is saved in our system. Second, pass the link of website to test in get function. So we need to pass the function link, the link which we are trying to automate that we will pass in the get function. Third, locate element and pass the credentials. Like once we will locate the element, the lo elements will locate like the username, the password, and then we will pass the credentials to that particular elements by using the send keys, send keys function. We'll use the send keys functions to pass the value. When all the credentials are passed, then at last we will click on sign in button using the click function. So these are some around five steps which we need to follow to automate a login page. And see, like the website link changes, but the steps remain same. So if you are automating any website in world, just what you need to do, just follow these steps. And you can automate or you can auto log in to any website through Selenium web code. So you can test any website if you were like, uh, just if you have the links available with you. Now, once we are familiar with the steps, now let's straight away go to the coding part. So if you see here, this is the code for login page. So what are the steps? The first step was to set the path. So we use system.set property to set the path of the Chrome driver. Second step was to pass the link in get function. So here I'm passing the link. That means the link that we are trying to automate. The third step is here. If you remember manually, we clicked on an image and then we, uh, then we got the username and password login page. So for that, first I'm automating, or that means I'm locating that particular element. So once the element is located by using XPath, then we perform click here. Once the click is performed, then we are into the web page. Now there, we need to locate the email web page. We need to locate the email ID and as well as the password. So the email ID and passwords are located by using the name locator. Now once the email ID and password is located, then we will pass the credentials to that particular block. So the credentials, now this is the fourth step. The fourth step, that means where we pass the values. So the values are passed using the send key. By using the send keys function, inside the send keys function, we will pass the credentials. Once the credentials are passed, then the last step we need to do is we need to perform click. That means we need to click on the sign in button. So once clicked on the sign in button, then we are into the main website homepage, or you can say the dashboard page. So let's try this. Let's run the code and see how it's working. When I run the code, so now I have this Chrome, or the, like you can say the one, the Chrome driver, the web driver, clicked on the image, passed the credentials, clicked on sign in, and now we are into the login page. So this, this is so simple. So if you have some other website, just change the website link and just get the locators of the locations and rest the steps are same. So you need to follow only the five steps, which I have discussed, which I've shown you in the slides. So you need to follow only this five steps and nothing more. So this is so simple just to locate a login web page. Now this is how we can locate a login web page. So this is all, this is like what I wanted to explain, keeping in mind the complete coding perspectives. Now, 
one thing what i want to tell you here in this video is that why to subscribe to my channel like i was planning to make i'm um, planning to make more videos on selenium web drivers and in fact on many different technologies so i was planning to i was i'm thinking that you should subscribe my channel and the reason behind this is like i can connect to you all if you subscribe my channel if you comment if you give your feedbacks then i can give uh, like i can work more like i can improve myself or if you want something new videos on some good topics then i'll create them and i'll share with you so few things what i like to tell you at the end is like please press the bell icon and subscribe channel this will help you to stay connected to my upcoming videos related to qa automation your valuable feedback will help us to connect to to you and help us to improve if required we are planning to make new videos on trend and technologies like jira devops and many more so if you subscribe you're not going to miss them so as like just you'll get the current videos that is present in this 2021 scenario the latest latest update you will get the videos there and also you can register yourself to it learn 360 and enjoy the experience of learning so i've shown you about my portal in my last videos also if you'll go and see the portal of it learn 360 we have lots of languages to learn so if you feel good if you like the course you can go and register yourself there so that you can experience of that you can get the experience of learning you can communicate to the trainers straight away that's all what i wanted to say this is all about the about my videos and about it learn 360 let's meet in another video thank you and have a nice day